Good afternoon again. It's uh, David Thomas, Archivist at Cornwall Record Office. Welcome to Truro and to another session of David's Dazzling Documents. In some of the later episodes of the third series of Paul Dark, we were introduced on the television to the character of Sir Francis Bassett of Tahiti, 1757 to 1835. And the Bassets were one of the great landowning families of Cornwall. In fact, Demelza Carn, if she'd been real, would have been in, living in a Luggan, would have actually have been one of the tenants of the Bassets. On the table, we have a plan of about 1806, so it's roughly contemporary with the Poldark series, showing the parkland and the great house at Tehiddy. Here, for example, is the uh, lake at Tehiddy that many of you will know if you visit Tehiddy Country Park. And here in the centre is the great house surrounded by its four corner pavilions. This is the house as laid out by the architect Thomas Edwards in the mid part of the 1730s. And Tahiti was one of the great houses of Cornwall. It was a fabulous property. And we also have today the Bassett's private photograph album, which they deposited with us in the 1950s, showing the house as it was in around 1870. And we have, for example, here's the... the centre of the house, this section here, which was later extended in the 1860s. So this is the house as shown on the plan we've just actually looked at. And it's an incredible album. Here, for example, you have a view as if you'd entered the front door of the great mansion in around 1870. It was a fabulous entrance hall and led upstairs to around 40 bedrooms. Then we also have the library. In fact, over the fireplace in the library hangs Gainsborough's portrait of the great man himself, Francis Bassett, Lord de Dunstanville. And you can also see in the image the plaster ceiling of the uh, library at uh, Tahiti itself. And as we turn on through the book, this is probably the most famous room that once existed in Tahiti, which was the saloon. It was hand-painted by Italian craftsmen lying on their backs uh, on scaffolding in 1863 and was a solid uh, gilt ceiling with an elaborately highly coloured painting in the middle. And the album is almost a complete record of what the house was like at the time. That's the southern front of Tahiti. And the gentleman at the bottom right-hand corner of the picture is probably Gustavus Lambert Bassett, who was a squire from the 1870s and the 1880s. And here is his predecessor, John Francis Bassett, posing in front of the southern front of the great mansion, probably in the late 1860s with his hunting hounds and his grooms. And how proudly he looks there standing in front of his vast mansion. In fact, he hid he was only one of 26 manors that the Bassetts owned in Cornwall. And that's the eastern front of Tehiddy. And you can see three of the four corner pavilions that once surrounded the house as laid out by Edwards in the 1730s. On the 26th of February, 1919, the huge mansion was uh, burned to the ground in a still unexplained fire. The Bassets had many fires at Tehiddy and even had their own fire engine, um, but it all was to no avail because... The whole place was destroyed in an incredible conflagration. It was the end of 800 years of wealth and power founded on property and the profits of mining. A sad end to a wonderful family and tale. <laughs>